as a candidate you should know if you fall in that bucket of critical talent in this organization or not it is best to be in a place where your function is critical talent you'll always be paid the highest how is this organization treating this role when i say treating as in how important it is for them what did you do you can't write code you're not an engineer you're not a designer you can't put a hammer for example, to example a product led social media company may not pay that much importance to a sales function maybe they pay more emphasis on the quality of product team engineering team that they hire probably i'm not saying that will be true for everyone i'm just assuming because there are certain functions with respect to the nature of business that become more important you'll pay more to those folks always because that is your critical talent right we define uh, <coughs> against our employees who is critical talent as a candidate you should know if you fall in that bucket of critical talent in this organization or not it is best to be in a place where your function is critical talent you'll always be paid the highest right or you'll be taken really good care of let's put it that the second point is as a candidate i think it is fair they ask their employers what is the compensation band in which i'm being hired and recruiters might say no to this they might not reveal this but it is i think fair to ask right just because you've asked that they they won't say no to you for a role now you're aware you cannot be played as you mentioned right how how do candidates get not get played right so if i ask as a candidate to you hey ranak you know i have applied for this role but before we go into the process i need to understand two things uh, what does your philosophy say with respect to this role is one question that i'll ask you so that i get to know the relative importance of this role in your organization the second part is what is the compensation band for this role that i'm applying for right now compensation band is 12 to 18 lakhs now the basic is i cannot be offered something which is below 12 lakhs right mm. because that is the minimum of the band you you in fact you will yourself not offer me right once you have told this to me next i'll ask what is the tenure in the band before i get promoted in my current role i've already spent one year in this organization for the same role if i am going to spend three more years whereas you hire freshers for this role right when you hire them at the starting of the band which means i ideally should be placed somewhere above the below of the band because i have already spent one year right and i should ideally get promoted in two years not three years so is that a fair ask is that what i should expect and i think answers to these question will eventually help me place myself fairly in this compensation band but the problem is that is easier said than done people in india may not have compensation bands created right but even though there may not be compensation band run up there still will be Uh, a median around which they are told to hire so every recruitment team will have some mandate that okay this is the band or this is the uh, ballpark figure around which you have to hire so i think you can still have these conversations if not uh, gets to the compensation band it still gives recruiters a perspective that they cannot play around uh, with uh, offering you lower salary than uh, what they should ideally be offering you so i think yeah i think this is very simple to do just three questions and uh, you'll be fairly